Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I will introduce you how to use multi-line cursor in Jupyter Notebook. Uh, as we know, there's an uh, Alt option and hold mouse to pull down to form a multi-line cursor. Using this multi-line cursor is very helpful for us to make a multi-line operation including but not limits to comments, indentation, bullets, emphasize text, text alignment, make tables, uh, multiple plots, and multiple string items, and so on and so forth. Let's come to the multi-line uh, comments. A lot of times we want to comment some lines of the codes, we don't want to write them. So let's do it. Just hold um, the Alt key, then press the left button of your mouse. So pulling down. So you see we have already chosen all the last few lines. So we give a comment. You see, we already comment those few lines. Another, we can make a indentation. Let's see example. This is maybe codes or text. Yeah, we want to make a, a indentation. Those multiple line. Let's hold out. We are choosing all these lines. Oh, we didn't. Then putting down, putting down. Yeah, we choose all these. Then tap. Yeah. So it's very handy. How the bullets, multi line bullets. For example, we want to give a bullets all these lines. Just hold the Alt key, then hold the left mouse, left button of the mouse, pull down, and choose all these lines. Then the bleeding, hmm? bleeding this, so we run it. Yeah, it's very good function. How about the emphasize text? Let's see. Yeah, this multi-line text, yeah, here. We want to emphasize it. For example, we want to bold all these lines. So we still use our multi-line cursor out. Yeah, just hold it down, hold on the out hold on the left button of mouse, pull down, then we give both, for example here I use a star, 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 star. But you know if we are just move this uh, mouse cursor, uh, mouse, we use the arrow, but you know because on the right the uh, not in, uh, I mean, uh, they, they are different lengths of the words. So we are just using the multi cursor to choose the left side, uh, the right side of the text. But here, uh, you know, if we choose, we put the mouse cursor uh, is approximately on the same vertical line with the last line of text approximately here yeah here we then we hold the alt key and hold the left button of the mouse then we go down pull down pull down then we can choose all the 
uh, right hand side of the text. So we put two star here. You see, thing be right. Well, here because uh, we didn't uh, put the similar, so we do it again. We are uh, put. Uh, we are hold the Alt key, and then the cursor is around here. Here, then we give maybe three space two three. Yeah, this is the easiest way. Yeah, then we write. So it is uh, multi-line. Uh, how about the text alignment? For example, we we have uh, headers here: header one, header two, header three. Usually, you know, when we type these tags or head headers, they are left align alignment. No, we want to align them uh, in the middle. Yeah, central align alignment. Let's see how to do it. This is header one, header two, header three. So we use the multi cursor. Alt, hold the Alt, hold the left key of mouse pull down then we use center center then we move the mouse cursor to the end then Dash center. Okay. So we write something. Oh, here is center. Make mistake. See. You see. So the headers are central aligned. Make a table. The multi uh, multi line cursor is also very helpful for us to make a table. The easiest way, for example, we make a table uh, in this way. For example, we we use uh, three line one, two, three. Yeah, this three line. We choose. Use the multi cursor, control the Alt key, then hold the mouse, pull down, choose this three line. Then we use uh, this vertical, or not this, the bar. This, for example, we will just write something header, uh, maybe is cell. Cell. Then we are cell. Also make another cell. Or maybe we are what the two cell one, cell two. So three, okay. Uh, then, of course, we we have to modify something like this is header. Then we are just modify edit them. Head head one, head two, head three, header or head. Then we modify something like this, like this. Then here one, two, maybe here's three. Just for example. Yeah, this is our table. So 
it help us uh, to save time and working yeah, efficiently. So uh, sometimes we will make multiline plots. I means there's a lot of plots or subplots. For example, in this example, we are import matplotlib or other things. Here, you see, there's a figure two. Yeah, figure there's sub subplot subplot one two three four or even more. Yeah, if we uh, use the multiline cursor, everything becomes easy. Yeah, we are just uh, yeah type this parse, use alt. Yeah, then we type you know the similar things. Then we make a little bit modified, so it helps us to work very efficiently, save a lot of time. How about multiple string items? For example, we uh, make um, we create a, uh, for example list. We create a fluid 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 list. For example, we can do in this way. For example, we have apple, but not apple, banana, banana, uh, orange, or more orange. Uh, here we can use this multi-line cursor choose here so we are quotation mark then we are here the quotation mark the comma yeah so it is a very useful way to help us to save time and work efficiently. Thank you. This is all for the video. I hope it will be helpful for you. Hope see you in other videos. Thank you.